Hey, hey, Gemini. So it's me, Tessa from Tessa's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to bring you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. And let's get into this. So let's get some money energy out here for today. How are you guys? I'm pretty good. It's kind of like the calm before the storm over around here. Appar apparently, Hurricane e Elsa, like from Frozen, is moving is moving through Florida and um, so we have a hurricane warning here where I'm where I live until 1 15 1 today but still it's gonna be a whole lot of rain and stuff so I want to get this out before it starts Just can't get a break when it comes to this rain. One more. Okay, you gave me two more. All right, you guys, let's get into this. So stability. Your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous. Some of you guys have, some of you guys look very good in gold. Gold looks good against your skin color. Some of you guys um, would rather wear gold jewelry than silver. Um, take control of your finances to create stability in your life. Excellent time to take action on any money related ventures, okay? <clears throat> Spirituality. You are being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time. You may be called to become a spiritual advisor, healer, or anything in the occult. Some of you guys are spiritual workers. Your finances could use some spell work. Ask your angels and guides for assistance. You know, we haven't used... Where is my... See, this is what happens when you have so many cards. You forget. So today is Tuesday. So not Wellness Wednesday. Hopefully, I'll be able to do Wellness Wednesday. Um, tomorrow weather permitted I just thought about the spell work when um I mean I thought about the witches oracle wisdom oracles when um they said spell work so that's saying that some of you guys are supposed to be working in spirituality or some of you guys are finding a new path some of you guys are on a spiritual path and it's also saying that your finances could use some spell work so some candle work or you know um affirmations that type of thing ask your angels and guides for assistance okay the rebel you're a trailblazer meant to see things differently and set a new path for others your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way. An old belief about money could be preventing you from getting ahead. Affirmations. Um, the affirmation for this week. And you will say this affirmation over and over and over again for the rest of this week. Money comes to me. Money comes to me in increasing amounts from multiple sources. Money comes to me in increasing amounts from multiple sources. Money comes to me in increasing amounts from multiple sources. That's the affirmation for this week. If you say that over and over again, out loud or in your head, I guarantee, even if it's something small, like you find a dollar or something, I guarantee money will manifest. Guarantee it. I was saying that affirmation the other day, just BSing around and like three people 
from this channel sent me PayPal, just like PayPal donations. That has never happened. So that's what the, that's where the multiple sources comes in. That you never know where it's going to come from. I'm not even worried about where it's going to come from. Control. Try to be a little more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. That's a, that comes in to what I just said. I didn't know where it was going to come from, and I'm not trying to figure it out. I just know it's coming. Don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come mm, 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 in the form you wanted it to. Sometimes blessings come in disguise. Stay open-minded to see the potential. Okay? So a lot of times things, the way you, even if you're doing spell work and you're petitioning for something, it ain't, it's probably not going to come in the way that uh, you are petitioning it. it okay? So that don't mean that you didn't receive it. That don't mean it didn't come. And it's not coming. It's just not coming the way you think it is. And so you miss it. Excuse me, you guys. Let me take a drink. <clears throat> Bottom of this deck. Ancestors. Some of you guys need to... Um, some of you guys need to be honoring your ancestors, okay? Light, light a candle for them. Put some water out there. Fruit on their altar. Um, if you do ancestor work. And then magic circle protection. You know how I feel about protection. Psalms 91 should be something that you say every day. Me one more Lord God masculine this gives me Aries vibes this gives me Emperor vibes okay some of you guys could be dealing with it with an Aries um, an Aries could be significant in your life in some way okay but that's giving me Emperor vibes where is the book on that I want to see what this masculine means. You're my angel by Anita Baker may be significant to somebody. Um, that song keeps playing in my head. Okay. The power of the Lord God is required for the situation you are inquiring about. Toughen up and use the masculine energy that pulses through your very being. So I always say that. That's that yang. I always get it confused. Whichever one is the masculine, I believe it's yang. But um, we both have feminine. All of us have, have feminine. Feminine, yes and masculine energy in us this is saying that you need to tap into your masculine um whether you are male or female you must acknowledge the natural presence of both energies that reside within in order to make up the whole of who you are right now you are urged to connect with your masculine side and to harness the driving force of independence a rational and analytic attitude is required so this is giving me like king of swords queen of swords energy Okay, where it's very much head over heart. In order to override any emotions that often rule you, unleash your rebellious streak, and the rebel is out there, and be willing to use force if have to. See, with, with the divine masculine on your side, you can be sure that you are on a winning team. This is an auspicious omen. I don't know what that means. Your emotions have influenced you. Logic needs to be used at this time. Do not accept the first offer that's presented. Draw strength from past experiences. This situation calls for you to be rational. Being highly driven and competitive serves you right now. Be a rebel. Hmm. When calling upon the Lord, you are beseeching the male essence of the all. He is the fatherhood who offers both protection and strength. The three aspects of God is seen as nature's youth, father, and elder. Okay. You can choose to work with, with whichever aspect of the God you are drawn to. Okay. So. 
what I get from this is tap into your masculine, okay? There's a situation that you're dealing with, maybe in your finances, maybe in your career, that you need to be assertive. In corporate America, like in corporate America, you, in order to be successful, if you notice all the successful women in corporate America, they're not, they're masculine dominated, okay? They are driven and they are competitive, okay? I feel like there's a situation where you need to take authority over it, okay? Stop just letting stuff happen to you. <clears throat> Let's get some energy for Gemini. Goodness, we already 10 minutes in. It's the morning sip. It's more like the... See, yeah, yeah, it is called Yang energy. So again, here's Yang coming out again. You need to tap into your masculine energy. Okay. Some of you guys, I just saw fork in the road. Some of you guys are at a fork in the road when it comes to a situation. And you need to take, uh, be very, I feel like you have to be analytical and rational when making whatever decision you're trying to make. Okay. What else for Gemini? So that Yang card is a one. It gives me Ace of Wands vibe. So about taking action, being creative. A new project, the urge to create something. What else for Gemini? Exchanging gifts. Some of you guys is familiar, may be a cat or you may have a cat. Exchanging gifts. So you may be gift giving or somebody may be giving you a gift, but that is not what I think. When, so this gift, this gift, this, this is giving me about ex, exchanging spiritual gifts. Okay. This is what set, this is what this card says to me. Okay. You may be as, you may be dealing with somebody who has a, spe a specific gift and so do you, spiritual gift. Why? So, yeah, this is about spiritual. So some of you guys are on a real spiritual path here, figuring out your gifts, finding out what you're gifted at, seeking a lot of knowledge. Especially with this Y card coming out on top of your ancestors, your ancestors, your spirit guides, you know, they'll be the ones to give you any knowledge. Ask them to guide you to books that you need to read because this looks like there's some kind of book that you need to read. This is giving me hermit vibes. Seeker of knowledge. I feel like you're, you're looking for stability on your on your path with that 31. Three plus one breaks down into four, which is about stability. So I feel like you, you're getting the urge to create some kind of path for yourself. Something where you could use your gifts, maybe. Spirituality, some kind of spiritual worker or something like that. But you have questions, okay? Work with your guides and your ancestors and they'll give you the, um, they'll guide you to where you need to be as terms of, in terms of gaining knowledge. <laughs> okay, let's get some tarot out here. Bottom of the deck, judgment, clarity. So this is about being clear about being clear about something, making a final decision on something. Okay, you may be. I just feel like you are making a judgment or waking up to like your purpose or your calling or some kind of path or something. What else for Gemini? Six of Cups. Nostalgia. 
So either this is you reminiscing about the past with this six of cups here. Again, there's a cat here. Some of you guys have a cat or, or you're familiar is a cat. Um, but you may have some clarity about something from your past. You may be remembering things from your past. So things that you saw in your past and you didn't make the connection. Like there was things that I just see my grandmother do. And my grandmother was a Christian Christian. Okay. Um, but there are things that I used to see my grandmother do that I didn't make the connection with until now. And I don't even think she knew. Uh, well, she may have. Um, so you may be connecting some dots right now. Okay. But definitely making some kind of or getting some kind of clarity about the past. Okay. With this magician here at the bottom of the deck, could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. With this Six of Cups, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but I don't really feel like this is a love reading, but could be with, with this magician card out here. I feel like you're waking up to some kind of, you're waking up to your path or the fact that you have the power to change things. Um, I feel like you're waking up to that with this magician card here, maybe waking up to manifestation. Give me one more. Page of coins. You may be in some kind of apprenticeship or starting some some kind of apprenticeship. Maybe wanting to get into some kind of apprenticeship with this Ace of Wands here. But there's something that you want to start. Maybe studying. I feel like I feel like okay. I feel like there's a path that you want to study. Okay, spiritually a path that you want to study. There's something that you've woken up to with this judgment card here or that you've gotten clarity on. Okay. It could be the fact that you have ancestors that, that practice certain spiritual practices and you're waking up to that or you're getting clarity on that because look at this. It's, it's like this person was enlightened. Okay. Like they're waking up to some kind of spiritual enlightenment. Something reached out to you. That's what I get from this. Um, I feel like with this six of cups, you are thinking about things that you saw in the past, okay? And I feel like you're connecting the dots because you may even be looking at old pictures of things or remembering things. Some of you guys, your your ancestors may have left you like a book of shadows or something like that. But I feel like you're connecting the dots in some kind of way. You Again, whatever this book is, it is enlightening you if you see this light coming up out of this book. So I feel like you're connecting the dots about your power, about a spiritual practice, about some kind of <clears throat> occultic practices, something like that. Okay. And I feel like you may have the urge to want to study it with this Ace of Wands here, or you are, maybe you've bought some new books or something that you're going to get into that you're looking at. Maybe you found somebody on YouTube that you follow that, um, P you may, some of you guys may even be in Patreons where you know they're teaching spirituality or, or or certain practices um but i feel like you have the urge to follow this new path okay i feel like you have the urge to follow this new path hmm i like that let's get some different cards out here i'm gonna use these cards in a while Hmm. Bottom on the deck, illumination. So again, being enlightened, believe in the power of grace. When we le when we least expect it, a new door will open, and the light of grace will illuminate our next step. Okay. Again, this is about things unfolding, and it may unfold in a way that you're not expecting. Some of you guys are supposed to be in occultic practices. Some of you guys are supposed to be studying. Um, make sure that whatever practice it is, it's a practice that is, that goes along with your, um, your race, you know, don't be trying to get into closed practices, but anticipation, expect the best. The world is working in your favor. So this is all about affirmation. Okay. And the power of thought, the, this is about assumption, which is what I used to talk about, about a lot like two or three months ago, 
but like the affirmation that I gave you. If you say that enough, that will become your new assumption about money. And once it becomes an assumption, that will show up automatically for you because you assume that. Like there are certain things that I, that I assume that I have told myself since I was very young. I think I shared this, but I have always assumed that everything that there are certain things that just won't happen to me. Like I'll never be without, like I may have issues, but I'll never be like just down and out just with nothing penniless. That is something that I have told myself that, um, would never happen to me for the longest time. And so that is just a natural assumption for me. And, e and even in times where I've been in trouble or been in, uh, had problems, I always come out of it. I always come out of it and I always come out of it with enough to start over. Okay. Because that is my assumption. That's my set point. So I won't go below that. Once you tell yourself something and, and you can do that for, for your good and you can also do it for your detriment. And a lot of us do that for our detriment. Back then when I was telling myself that, I didn't know what I was doing. I just, that's just how I felt about it. So, give me one more. Connect. Mm, God, they gave me two. Connect. Find your center. When we stay connected to our spiritual core, the best and most advantageous path unfolds before us. So again, I feel like this is telling you to connect to spirit guides, to your spirit guides, to your ancestors. But this is telling you to connect. Okay. And the last one, release. Let go. When we release our attachment to the outcome, we allow the power of grace to work its magic. So that's releasing the need to control how it comes to you. Like I said, with that affirmation, I was just, was just, you know, I, me personally, I pick an affirmation. I may pick one for a week. I may pick one to say all day, but that particular day I was just, you know, lounging around, not even really focusing on it, but, but still saying it. Um, and like I said, like three or four people from this channel sent me donations that has never happened since I've had this channel. So that, so if you were to ask me where I thought that money was going to come from, I would have thought it would have came from uh, reading or uh, reading requests or, you know, orders from my business. That's where I would have told you I thought that money was coming from and look how it came. I wasn't even, it, that thought never even crossed my mind. So that's about releasing the need to control how it comes to you. Okay. I don't worry about how it's going to come to me. I'm just, I just know that it's going to come. Okay. That's the space that I'm at. Hmm. Let's get a angel message. We're already 22, 23 minutes in. Let's get an angel message. your angels and treat and choose a new direction so there's a certain way that you need to be going okay and I feel like in this choose a new direction I feel like it's a spiritual path okay since that's what we're talking about but this is saying to choose a new direction to go in, in a different direction and that you need to ask your angels your ancestors your spirit guides or whatever you call it God you know whatever but you need to be asking them to illuminate the path for you or show you which way you're supposed to be going okay so Jim and I I hope this reading was helpful for you go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out for all your coffee and glam needs visit www.theglamcafe.com if you'd like a personal reading my information is in the description box and I'll speak to you soon bye